Alright, back again Luke here. And today, as you can see in front of you, this is that Operation Tiger PCB I was working on before. And I thought that I'd make a part two video here, or an update video on this, and uh, hopefully maybe add a bit more information as to what was going on with the last video. For those of you who didn't see the last video, I put up a, a video on this PCB that I picked up. Had no wiring uh, pinouts or any of the information to it, so I had been trying to hunt down and figure out what was wrong with it as far as um, where the pinouts went and uh, what was going on with the graphic issues. Uh, lo and behold, I was able to figure out the color problem. If you guys remember before, it was displaying the colors in a really strange way. I had made an update, at least I put in the comment section of the last video, the updated pinouts here for the RGB but as you can see here I have sync blue green red I believe I had sync blue red green last time and that was the color issue the other problem I was having is the board itself was glitching out there were quite a few like uh, splits in it lines and uh, graphic glitches those were all caused by these four surface mounted RAM chips here hopefully you guys can get the part numbers off of these this is the uh, first set that I wound up replacing. And after replacing these two, I was able to get the graphics to kind of well, come in a little bit better than they were originally. But then finally, I went and uh, replaced these last two when they came in just now. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd show you guys what it's doing. But these four chips on the top here are responsible for the graphics, or at least the, uh, the graphic glitches that I was experiencing. So if you guys have any problems with your boards, that may be a place to start. It's really hard um, to get soldered uh, like inside here. What I did is I actually, um, in or sorry, on this side, what I did is I tried to pull this back as far as I could and I actually used my soldering pen to get in there. And I used drag soldering in order to uh, get these pins. But before this chip was so far forward, it was just ridiculous. You have to be very careful too when you remove these chips because too much heat, you'll get these blistering and bumps and that can destroy the board. And if you try and clip it out, you can uh, wind up breaking the traces, so it's really tricky. What I did is I soldered a wire all the way along the bottom of it, then I tried to clip the tops of these one by one, and I soldered a wire on the other side. Once I was able to get the first set here uh, broken free, I just kind of wiggled it, rocked it back and forth. It kept the other pins stable, then using my uh, wick, soldering wick, just rolled across it and uh, scooped up all the, the bits or the legs that were on there, and uh, yeah, worked like a charm. So. But nevertheless, let me see if I can kill the lights here. Well, let's let's see where can we mount this. I don't know what's the best way to do this. Let's let's flip this thing on here. And we'll let this thing start up. It's gonna take a second for it to boot anyway. You can see my reflection there. Last time you guys probably couldn't see this, but this is what it would normally come up with. And it is going to flash, so I apologize for those of you out there who are uh, affected by strobe light patterns, but... I haven't hooked up the sound yet, I haven't gotten that far, but as you can see, no more lines, yay! And our characters look good, we've got a uh, full screen there. Here is our satellite, it doesn't look like all mangled and, you know wild and crazy. We've got a green background now, which I believe the first time it was all red, but yeah, there were splits in it. We've got our uh, background here, which our truck should kind of roll through. There we go. I think the windows were red last time. It still looked pretty cool with the red windows, so. <laughs> we got a sunrise, which is awesome. And like I mentioned before, you guys could definitely see the difference between the, uh, the before and now. There were so many, like, artifacting, like, glitches going on. The sky is one solid color. But yeah, like I said, this is going to be a lot of flashing, so for some people this may be a bit much to handle. This is what you get with the old CRTs. Also, you get that crazy hum going on, which a lot of people probably, you know, if you're used to it, you're like, what? What hum? <laughs> but if you're not, you're like, what is that? There we go. There's our Operation Tiger uh, intro here. Let me see if I can turn the lights off. We'll get less glare. You guys should be able to see our background graphics are in. 
and clear as day. So there's no more graphic artifacting in the background or character sprites of the, the correct colors. No missing sprites at all. This is super awesome. It's still far from playable. I mean, I still need to figure out the sound issues. I need to figure out the controls. Um, those are the, the trickier parts here. But in terms of being a working, functioning board right now, it, it is. It's, uh, it's working really nicely. In a way, it kind of reminds me a bit of the... Uh, you know, 007 for the N64 kind of graphics, which is kind of cool, but and we'll let it roll through again. I think it'll do another set of some, uh, yeah, see the sky's blue now. No more lines across the screen there, except for the ones flashing through the camera. <laughs> Our characters now look like real, well, not, I can't say real people, <laughs> they look like, uh, you know, blocky people, but they look much, much better than the, uh, the zombified creatures that we had before. Blue skies and backgrounds are looking awesome. But yeah, this is a very rare, uncommon board with, you know, not much of any insight as to what's going on with it or how to repair it or where pinouts are on it or anything. Don't flare out. Come on. It's going to do it. All right. Now you guys will be able to see. This is what the characters normally look like. It's a bit better. This guy's still creepy. <laughs> but yeah, nevertheless, just want to share with you guys a bit of an update video here as to how the board is looking and that it is running now, which is completely and 100% much much better than it was before you guys remember this is kind of like the sewer area which is not going to focus is it oh my gosh but this sewer area was all blocky before there we go now it's kind of focusing not really but yeah but now you can see it's it's up and running so hopefully i'll be able to get this thing going sometime I don't know, this year, <laughs> I'm going to be kind of a bit skeptical as to, you know, how long of time it's going to take for me to get the wires all figured out on it, but hopefully I don't mess it up and I'm able to get this thing up and running, but yeah, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching. Watching some almost fully repaired Operation Tiger. <laughs> Wish I had the buttons all kind of hooked up a little bit easier. It would be a lot uh, better if I could show you guys more of this, but I didn't think about hooking those up. <laughs> but anyway, more updates here. Hopefully to follow soon. Take care.